Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I do videos about photography and about technology. I have a storage solution for you that I think is going to be something you want to take a look at. It is an external SSD drive that is running blazingly fast. It's very compact, it's well made, it travels really well, it takes abuse really well, and it has a lot of storage capacity. I think that anybody that is doing photography and video should take a really strong look at this. It's a Akasis SSD enclosure. It's designed for a PCIe type SSD drive. This has 40 gigabyte transfer speed, so we're talking about Thunderbolt 3 and 4. We're talking about USB 4, 3.2, 3.1, and all backwards compatible as long as you're using a USB-C type connection. It is Mac and Windows friendly, and it is M1 and M2 chip friendly. So the new chips that Apple put out works just fine with this. I'm running an M2 on my Mac mini, and it works great. Let's take a quick look at the craftsmanship and the manufacturing of this case. It is all aluminum and has some great heat dissipation features to it. Anytime this gets a little bit warm, I just turn it on its side so that I get full exposure to all of the surface area that this enclosure has to offer. It does have some little bit of heat sink kind of dissipation here, but quite frankly, it doesn't get so hot that I can't touch it and I can't hold it. It does get warm and you may want to buy the version with the fan and if that worries you or you're in a very hot climate. For me, I've never had a problem with it in all the time that I've used it, and I use it for my video editing, so I push it pretty hard. If I haven't mentioned it, the part number for this is TBU405. You can find that in the description below. It's $139.99 on Amazon right now, and the internal fan-cooled version, which they just released, is the TBU405. 405 Pro and that has an internal fan that will help a little bit with the heat dissipation. I chose the SK Hynix Platinum P41 SSD to put inside. That's a PCIe which is just the format of the SSD and this thing is running at over 7,000 megabytes per second. Let's talk a little bit about speed. So before I started with a 500 megabyte transfer SSD as an external drive. Then I went to the 1000 megabyte transfer SSD drive. Those were pretty fast. I wasn't really slowing down at all and I was able to do most of the video editing that I wanted. Right now with the PCIe SSD that I'm running in here, that is compatible to run 7000 megabytes per second and the case is also able to keep up with that. But my computer's connection right now is only running at about 2700, and so that's about what I'm getting on a regular basis. Even 2700 is over two and a half times what I was getting for my transfer speeds before. I am perfectly happy right now, and this is why I say it's semi-future proof for me, because by the time my computer gets to a point where it's running 7000 megabytes transfer speed connections, I should be fine. I think this SK Hynix is gonna do really well. You can get the SK Hynix in 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabytes. I personally went for the two terabyte, and then pick your size. I use backup drives after I'm done editing, and if you wanna see that, I've got a video on that right up here that tells you about my workflow as far as storage goes, and it describes how my workflow for storage works. How do you install this thing? It's got four machine screws in the corners. You unscrew those machine screws, open up the back case. You're going to open up your SSD drive. Then you're going to put that in there, snap it in place. The SSD drive is held down by another screw, which I really like. Then you're gonna put the heat sink tape on top of the SSD. And then you're going to put the back case back on and screw down the screws. That's it, plug in your Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 compatible cable and plug that into your computer or into your USB-C hub and you are ready to go after you format the drive and your computer sees it. So for me, there really is no deal killer in this setup. This is perfect for me. 
I'd like to hear what you use for your storage solution, so please put that in the comments below and don't forget to check out my video on storage workflow for photographers and videographers. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. In the meantime, my friend, shoot lots of video, store it, be fast about it, and keep it simple.